Can we start this interview so awkwardly and and just get right into, like you're just, you're like a goalie. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Goalies and punters. I was a punter. Mm-hmm. All of us are just there's something just a little, just a little. What is it, man? What? Why are you so different? Too many pucks to the uh, <laughs> to the head to the to cranium. The um, have, have you always been like this? <laughs> Even as a kid, like did you get kicked out of school for being weird? <laughs> Because no, I did. I I I I, uh, I put on a good game. I I uh, I, I, I was a goalie. That's uh, not literally, but uh, I could uh, navigate uh, the part in school and did well and uh, became aware of my blind spots early enough. Yeah. That I could work with them. And they became uh, helpful in some ways. Yeah. It's uh, I. Loved and hated school. I kept going back, but uh, happy to be out. Actually, I went back because I'm a teacher. So you are a teacher. I, I got sucked back in. What yeah. do you teach, man? I teach grade six. I, I teach language. So you teach I everything. Teach art. Yeah, yeah. Do you specialize in uh, like creative writing, poetry, English? Well, we, we do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We do that. Um, so yeah, I, I I teach when it suits me, and right now I'm. Uh, teaching there in Hamilton full time and it's uh it's great. I'm really enjoying it. It's always challenging, but uh it's a good bunch of kids. I think I just heard you say that the children of Hamilton are challenging. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> I think children in general. Do you have any kids? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 3, one of each. Challenging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're very very different. All right, um set this song up, uh, f- up for us. Tell us what it's all about and uh you know, that co- that whole it's an old song that I haven't grown sick of entirely. It's called The End of Me. Uh, it's, a, it's a song about shooting back and forth in the country and falling in and out of love with the land and, and the one I, I love, the, the, the woman I married. Uh. The streets of Vancouver are flooded with the blood the sleepwalking dead I dreamed we walked on this river together His greasy hands pulled us in above our heads This land's ancient insides are burning The fiery pine beetle cooks her bones she Told me if I burn bright like she does Come the winter I won't make it home gold is someone's curse I seen the good life get better as the living gets worse I came to you oil rich and angry but the power weighed more than it's worth so you follow me west to keep the fire off my chest you follow me east to console that icy beast said you'd follow me Drowning has begun. This river has swept up your man. The fires of St. John never ended. In us punks, in us drunks, it still burns. And though Irving has bought up our body, we're not gonna sell them our word. Follow me to the end of the earth, but the end of me is bound to come first. Oh, you follow me out through gray rain, darker drought. Follow me back, coals are red, souls are black. Said you'd follow me to the end of the earth, 
but the end of me is bound to come first. You said you'd carry me, but this river is grown. Girl, this river is carrying us home. Beautiful, beautiful, wax mat. Wax Mannequin. Dude, that's a really hard name to say. Wax Mannequin on the Drew Ma we got to talk about the name. I know it's probably annoying for you to explain the name all the time, but, uh, I just, it's you know, it's, 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 it's frustrating for the rest of us. We don't know. I make up different things. <laughs> different stories. keep myself entertained. <laughs> different stories. What's the truth, man? What's the truth? Where'd it come from? Well, I was, I, I came up with it. Our friend and I came up with it together when I was uh, about 20 or so. Uh, it's just, I was reading, uh, Descartes and he had things to say about wax melting and, and it, um, you know, us knowing that it's still wax, regardless it's of its, uh, physical properties he used to, uh, to, uh, sort of define his first philosophy and, and, uh, built the, uh, a lot of the scientific, uh, thought is is based on Descartes uh, meditations on first philosophy a lot of religion stuff in there too hmm. so it's a nice meeting ground of, of opposites that document and uh, ended up uh, thinking I should uh, use that medium to um, make my music I like it makes a lot of sense ties in quite nicely all right what are we doing give us another song please uh, okay this song's called boring it's about two ordinary people or the Drew Marshall Show. It's about two ordinary people who uh, undergo a great transformation. Oh, when Kate, Caitlyn Jenner? Yeah, terrible happens, okay. actually. It's not a progressive transformation like that. It's, okay. uh, it's, uh, they become musicians, you see. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's heavy. Yeah. I love it. Live on the Drew Marshall Show, Wax Mannequin. Some people fear that if they slip between the cracks, they will fall forever down with no way back But I will share with you a controversial something Down here it's an awful lot more interesting Once there was a fellow who walked a well-paved path Safe from the scoundrels of the ragged class but toll on heavy toll left him indebted With nothing but his dreams and things regretted Boring, boring The straight and narrow leads you straight to boring Boring, boring Falling down is flying when you're drunk I forgot to tell you this is a sing-along And I need you all to sing along If you're in this room or at home you can say Strum the strum the A chord like this. I go. You gotta sing. Boring, boring. Straight and narrow leads you straight to boring. Boring, boring. Falling down is flying when you're drunk. Once there was a, a lady with the perfect plan. She got a doctorate in arts and met a rich man. She waited on him with a ticking hunger. She walked in on him, kissing someone younger. Boring, boring, cloudy with a certain chance of boring, boring, boring. I prefer the weather here in hell. Well, the loner met the lady at Mephisto's pub. They made a pact to give up all they're supposed to love. They torched the homes, they smashed the cars. They ate their pets and shredded all their credit cards. Now they sing and drink their way from town to town. He plays viola as she works the crowd. They live off the dumpster and the dollar store. They forget the stuff that doesn't matter anymore. Boring, boring. Now their lives are anything but boring, boring, boring. We won't know where they're headed till they're dead. But what about the big man with the red right hand? He hoarded every treasure of the seven lands. But we can save him. We can sing him from his stupefying bubble. 
can drag him screaming down to our own level. Oh, boring, boring. Good intentions pave the road to boring, boring, boring. Na 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 na. Boring, 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 boring. So meet me at the thorny garden gates. We'll shake them till the rusty hinges break. We'll feed that rotting apple to the snake. Yes! <laughs> He's just playing with us. He's just playing with us. I got, I the, got uh, the imagery was phenomenal. I there. got a little biblical in that one. I noticed you. that. I you'd appreciate it. I love the old rotting apple snake scenario. <laughs> Said, what kind of guitar is this? Because it's a beautifully sounding, classical, fat neck looking guitar with so much bottom end, deceiving bottom end on that thing. It's, it's nothing fancy. It's uh, my dad's guitar. My dad passed away a few months ago. And, oh, I'm uh, sorry. It's uh, th thank you. And he uh, he I, I inherited it and it means a lot to me to play it. And uh, it's got us. I, I had one just like it when I was growing up. I got this one off the the other one off of him too, but. It got stolen and smashed, so this one is uh, deeply meaningful. Wait a second. Know, if just it got, to know he played it. If it got stolen, how do you know it got smashed? Because I found the pieces. That's a song right there. It was, it was in high school, and it was uh, it was actually friends of mine who stole it. They thought it was it was a it was, they thought it was a school guitar. Oh no! They swiped it and then they smashed it. They saw my name inside in tape. So uh, did they admit it? Well, they yeah they they told me. They told, they yeah. said, "Dude, I'm sorry. We thought yes. it was a school guitar." And did yeah. they pay you back or anything? Good friends that way. No, bad friends. That bad. Way. <laughs> yeah. Right. Good friend. Bad friend. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Um, can you do another song? Happily. Please, please. Okay. Uh, what are you gonna do? Wait. Do you like setting up songs or no? Uh, I don't have to. Okay. I think I think you weren't expecting that last setup, so. No, I love setups, but okay. if you I, you strike me as someone who who either really likes to set them up or hates it. I like it. Okay. I like I it. Tune too. I like uh, a lot. This one is yeah. This one is is about how lucky I feel sometimes, especially uh, when I get to go to new places and uh, alive, uh, staying alive, traveling for so long. Like the been, Bee Gees. I felt yeah, staying alive like the Bee Gees. Uh, I feel like uh, I made it. So far, and things have kind of could have gone a lot worse for me. So uh, often, you know, bad things happen, or you know, I, I get away with stuff that that other people wouldn't. I know, right? You've you've you've, you've experienced I feel it. this. I feel it. I get pulled over sometimes too when I'm going fast, especially through Toronto with yeah. the rush hour and all yeah. that. Got to make up for lost time. Yeah, Kingston. Yeah. So the lights come on behind the car, and the officer uh, gets out and does that thing with his hand that. That, uh, old, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with do. what he, <laughs> that, that, you know that that cranking motion that old guys do when you when they want you to oh, roll, down, roll the down the window. Did he still make that motion? So I push, <laughs> well, I push the button and feel like I'm being a smart ass. Right. Yeah. He says, "Why are you going so fast?" Uh, I don't know. I, he caught me off guard. I didn't, you know, context. I couldn't explain the candle, <laughs> and the, the music, and everything where I was going to play. Why are you going? The next question he asks comes quick there because uh, there's a. Ziploc baggie there between the two seats. Uh -oh. I'm poking out of the emergency console. I says, "What's in the baggie?" Uh, I, I pull it up. And it's a bag of carrots. And then his big face—he's got a big face, a cop face, big face. Big cop face. Big cop face. It breaks like a your, your smile, like a baby's face. <laughs> and 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 he and he and he and he, and he tells me. He doesn't ask. He tells me, "You're a health nut, aren't you?" And I said, I don't know. Yes, yes, I am. He offered me the out. I took the out. He says to me, <laughs> and in that moment, you know, there's something between us, you know. So we were the same in some inexplicable way. And I, I'm not so hot at the social cues sometimes, as you can see, but this one I got. And uh, and he, he just said, off you go. He waved me on my way. You know, I was going fast, too, 140 or so. End of the month, he could have met his quota right there in Kingston, but big industry, the ticketing. But uh, he let me go. Off you go. Off you go, wax mannequin. So I felt lucky. <laughs> Stuff like that happens all the time. I love this. I got sick and scared. I was going 140 on the 401. The 
Cop lights flash me down outside Kingston. The officer said, son, I'm just like you. Try to ease up and pass on through. You know, I'm shifty in the customs line. My suitcase is full of shoddy Dutch wine. She hears the bottles rattle and clink, but weighs me right through with a knowing wink. My shopping cart won't fit anymore. Thoughtlessly, I walk right through the door. The clerk said, you don't look like a thief. I'll let it slide, you can pay me next week. Oh, someone fix the game for me. Someone fix the game for me. I'm not on top, but I can see that somebody fixed it for me. I'm from Hamilton. And, uh, yeah. We got a reputation to maintain. No, we're gentrifying quite nicely, thank you. But up here in Oakville, we have a reputation to maintain. My love and I, we lived right downtown for as long as we could stand, right in the post-industrial thick of it, till we got kids and we got out. We got sick and scared of living downtown with a disenfranchised, volatile crowd. The bank man said he would sell us a loan for a no money down suburban home. That's right, a no money down and cast a home. Oh, the cop, the nurse, the fire brigade. I break down, they all run to my aid. It don't matter just how deep I get stuck. Someone arrives to dig me up Cause someone fixed the game for me Someone fixed the game for me I've scrambled high enough to see That somebody fixed it for me Well, when other blokes get tossed in the clink I snake by to frolic and drink Some say that's cause I'm clever or nice but that's just code for privileged and white So if you're of the less fortunate ilk Man up and oppress somebody else Then in a generation or two Someone will fix the game for you Like someone fixed the game for me I got a pair of nines and I'm hit with the three I'm no card shark, the dealer he knows me Somebody fix this I see But a storm has come there's a flood rushing in It's up to my neck and it's through to my skin Keep your head down Everything's fine Don't worry about yours I got what's mine You see the auctioneer? He's manning the raft He's calling out the oars and the mast If I can bid the other guy down I will sail home, the rest can drown Cause someone fixed the game for me Someone fixed the game for me That sun is sure hot, but I'm sailing free yeah, Somebody fixed it for me Yeah, someone fixed the game for me Everybody now, someone fixed the game for me Not a drop to drink, no land to see Can't somebody fix this for me Can't somebody fix this for me can't somebody fix this for me? Me. <laughs> Wax Madigan on the Drew Mars' Zoo. You got a standing ovation from Tim. He never gets out of that chair. That was phenomenal. Phenomenal.